Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my milk snake collection. I'm gonna be making it a series, multiple videos until I show you all my beautiful milk snakes. They're really amazing animals, so stay tuned. It's gonna be a good video. Check this out. Now, this is one of the most amazing milk snakes you'll ever see. The Coastal Plains Milk Snake. Now, this is an albino Coastal Plains T positive milk snake. And you don't really see these often on the trade. They're just an amazing snake. And I'm very, very lucky I got a pair of these, so I really can't wait to breed them. Um, this is the female, and the male might be even more amazing than this one. Wow, just just amazing. How, how, how could a snake come out with these colors? I don't even know. And it's not a hybrid. It's not a hybrid. This is the way the snake is, naturally. So I'm going to show you guys some pictures of the different variations of these. Um, this one is able to produce different types. It's got different heads in it. And um, I'm just, I can't wait to breed these. And you know, with these, these are personal pets to me. They're not snakes that I buy just to breed them because they're beautiful. These are my personal pets. And I just want to produce more beautiful snakes and uh, share them with you guys. So I'm just happy that you guys could come along for the ride and I could do these videos. Now these are just amazing snakes. And as they mature into adults, Sometimes they'll keep that beautiful white color in the bands with the deep reds and sometimes as adults those whites might turn into like more of a cream color or even yellow out a little bit but um, we'll see what happens as they get older. I know the parents to these have a nice white color. Now check out this male, just an amazing, amazing snake. Um, his pattern is slightly aberrant. As you can see, those white bands form slight X's around his body. Really, really beautiful snake. And these were produced by Ryan Farrell. He has an amazing collection of colubrids, so definitely recommend him. Check him out on Facebook. Great, great breeder. And you don't see these very often, so I'm glad that I could show you these beautiful snakes. So I just wanted to bring a topic up. I was talking to a fellow breeder, a friend of mine. And he told me he went to pair some of his snakes and one of them started running away from the other one. So he double checked. It turned out they were both males. So all this time he thought it was a female and a male, but it was really two males. So I was thinking, you know, I haven't really sexed any of my snakes. I just take it for granted. Whatever the breeder says when I buy it, that that's what the snake is. So now I got a nice probe kit. So this weekend I'm going to actually probe a couple of snakes. Um, is that something you guys want me to do a video? 
uh, showing you guys how to sex the snakes and it's gonna be my first time I'm a little nervous but if you guys want to see that in a video just let me know in the comments below um, it's a little nerve-wracking at, at first but I think it's gonna go well and I just really need to know exactly if my snake is a male or a female I don't want to wait until I pair them and then it's too late So check this guy out. This is my male T positive Nelson's milk snake. Now I got these from Charlie Ward at the Daytona Breeders Expo in 2019. And these are 2019 babies. I have a pair of these. And man, they're just taking off right now with their size. They started off really, really tiny. And it took them a while to start gaining size, growing really slow. And within the past four or five months, they packed on a lot of size and now they're eating small mice. Um, just amazing snakes. And you can see, like I said before, the milk snakes seem to be a little on edge, but these, these are calm. These just don't mind being handled and they're just amazing to look at. A little bit different than the regular Nelson's milk snake. Now the pair that I got, look almost identical it's hard for me to tell the difference and they're just really calm and they really love to eat now if you want to see them eat I'm gonna show you that real quick feed them two small mice and then we'll go to the next snakes so I got these delicious hopper mice here I have two snakes my two albino tea positive Nelson's milk snakes that are really hungry so let's go feed them Beautiful, beautiful mice. So right now he's relaxing in his water bowl. Let's see if he's gonna go for it or he just wants to relax in the jacuzzi. He might not even be hungry. Let's see, let's tease him a little bit. Let's tease him a little bit of teasing right here. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for it. Come on. There he goes. There he goes, he got it. Wow. Showing no mercy. I'll let him eat. So now for the female, she she looks like she's ready to eat. Look at that. Yep, she's smelling them out. She's flicking the tongue, picking up the scent. Bam! So I'll let her relax and eat. This is not a feeding video, just showing you a couple of attacks. So where's that, where's that mouse now? It looks like it's right there. You can see the separation of the scales in my belly let them relax so first off I want to introduce you to this feisty little guy this is uh, Nelson's milk snake and this one is a really young one. It was born in 2020. And I picked them up at the Daytona Breeders Expo from Kyla Bell, really, really well-known breeder. And something special about this particular one, and I have a pair of these, they're from the high yellow line. So I'm gonna show you a picture of what that looks like. They look a little bit different than your typical Nelson's milk snake, showing a lot more yellows. And this one is a beauty. It's really, really feisty at this age. Um, I tried recording with one hand, I couldn't do it. They were just trying to, she was just trying to jump out of my hand, bite me and all that stuff. But usually with age, they'll calm down. Now I'm really excited about the future because I have a pair of these. And as they get older, the yellow in the bands just increase. They get wider and wider in this high yellow um, line, so. Now I'm going to put this one back in its bin 
and it's pairing is shedding right now in deep deep shed so I'm not gonna bother him just let him relax but uh, if I have some photos I'll show you guys looks very similar to this one this is a couple of pictures of the male after he previously shed so I haven't gave you guys a recent update on my snakes in brumation that I'm gonna be breeding they're all doing good they're still in the cooler. I check up on them daily, give them a little bit of air, and everyone looks great. Nobody lost too much weight. They all look really good. And in a couple more weeks, I'm gonna do a nice video, take them out of the cooler, let them rest for about a week, then I'll feed them. Maybe a week and a half, I'll feed them. And I'm gonna start the pairings a couple of weeks after that, after they shed. Man, I can't wait. And I really enjoy doing this video for you guys. The milk snakes are amazing. I enjoy all the species of snakes. So with that, be safe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I got some great videos coming up. So stay tuned.